Hey, welcome once again to our kitchen, guys. It's real nice and Molly here bringing you another recipe. Today, we're going to be making no other than cassava pone. I know you all like that, right? That's another favorite treat in Guyana. For this recipe here, we have the grated cassava there. We also have some grated coconut. And these here, you can get uh, like this in packages to buy. You don't actually have to buy the coconut and the cassava and grate them. They come in packages already grated. And that's what those are there. We, we're also going to be using some evaporated milk, some condensed milk, sugar, vanilla essence. We're going to be using some melted margarine there. Some black pepper, cinnamon powder, and grated nutmeg. And that's about it. So let's begin. Okay, so it's time to start mixing here for this spoon. And that's our cassava there. And now our coconut. So now we're going to add the other ingredients here now. That was the evaporated milk. So anywhere around Georgetown guys you can find pone selling there. Very nice tasty pone. Being sold by the slice. So we're going to add our vanilla essence there. Give this a good mix here, make sure everything is mixed in. Some more evaporated milk. And you can taste this once you've added everything that you think is correct. And see if you need to adjust anything, if you need to add any more of anything.
Okay guys, so before you put your bone mixture into your pan, it's good to grease it first so that your bone will come out easily after baking. Okay guys, so our pan is filled here now. I really want to fill it more than that. So now we're going to put this in the oven here. And this should be ready in about an hour or a little over an hour. For every oven is going to be a little bit variation in the time that it takes. So there we go. Okay guys, so here's our pan. It's ready. It's done took about an hour and 10 minutes on 350 degrees but this is hot here right now we're not gonna cut this right now we're gonna let it cool a bit yeah take it out of here let it cool a bit and then we're gonna cut it and show you what it looks like okay so see you once this cools so when you're checking your pond at the end because every open is not going to take the same exact amount of time you got to look at the, the finished color on top and you're also going to stick it like Molly's going to do here just like you do your cake and if it comes out clean it means it's cooked inside right that's clean so this bone is done so as I said we're going to wait until it cools and then we're going to cut it all right okay guys so here is our bone it's already cooled and it looks like one of the kids took a taste before us they probably thought we were done with it but this is what it is here and we're gonna cut this and show you how soft and gooey it is inside that's the way it's supposed to be it's supposed to be a little bit sticky so here we go And you can cut this when it's too hot or warm or because it's gooey inside it's going to stick to your knife and then it's just going to break apart. So there you go. You see that? See how nice and soft that is? So we're gonna cut a small piece here so you can see how gooey and nice the inside is. See that? That's how your porn should be inside. Sticky and pasty and gooey. And that's what this is right here. See that? So that's it there guys. That's a real guy in his porn. Real nice guy in his porn. So if you like this video guys, please Remember to give it a like. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. Please click the notification bell. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.